First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Turn to the Lord, he can still be found. Call out to him, he is near. Give up your wicked ways and your evil thoughts. Return to the Lord our God. He will be merciful and forgive all your sins. The Lord says, my thoughts and my ways are not like yours. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, my thoughts and my ways are higher than yours. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The Lord is near to all who call on Him. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. Lord, I will praise you each day and always honor your name. You are wonderful, Lord, and you deserve all praise because you are much greater than anyone can understand. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. You are merciful, Lord. You are kind and patient and always loving. You are good to everyone and you take care of all your creation. The Lord is near to all who mm. call on him. Our Lord, everything you do is kind and thoughtful and you are near to everyone whose prayers are sincere. The Lord is near to all who call on him.
And so by the time the workday is done, they've only been there maybe an hour. And then he called all the workers together, and he gave them the same amount of money. And then once when they were all dead, we're upset. Now, we can understand that theory. Imagine yourself in a similar situation. And I'm going to change the story a little bit and bring you closer to home to help you understand God's message today. the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 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 Since we know that we have to follow God's way, not our way, we pray for the grace to accept God's will. When I say, we pray, you say, Lord, hear our prayer. For catechists, teachers, missionaries, and all who teach the gospel, for an increase in priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters, and all church ministers from our parish, we pray. For all who work for peace and fairness, for the safety of every person, for world leaders and military personnel, and for an end to wars, we pray. For our government leaders and those who work for safe workplaces and fair pay, for the poor and the homeless, for a greater willingness to share God's many gifts, we pray. For more people to receive the gift of the Most Holy Eucharist and all holy rites, for the prayerfulness of those at Holy Mass, we pray. For the needs listed in our parish prayer book, for a cure for all sicknesses, for victims of earthquakes, hurricanes, and other disasters, for those who are considering joining the church, for all who no longer come to church, for our confirmation candidates and their sponsors, we pray. If you have people you'd like to pray for, please do that now. For these intentions, we pray. Loving God, we know that you're listening to our prayers. We graciously ask that you grant all we truly need. Through Christ our Lord, amen.